Hey everyone, it's Dr. Thompson here. I'm reviewing some data of sound therapy use from tinnitus patients and I wanted to share what I'm finding. Let me share this. This is from Odo Sound Therapy and they published this, an internal study of their sound therapy. And they found that the number one most used sound therapy, according to how much time was listened, was ocean sounds. Second most common was thunderstorm, followed by white noise, brown noise, crickets or cicadas, and then other types of different soundscapes. Now this is interesting. It's showing that these sounds were used over a variety of times throughout the day, but mainly in the evening. And this is consistent with what I see with my patients, is that sound therapy is useful, not just white noise, not just pink noise, not just ocean noise, not just cicadas, but usually some combination of all of them. And it does not have to all come through an app. One thing that I love is being able to help patients manage tinnitus, whether that's during an initial retraining period of going all in intensive on it, on the sound therapy use, or it's as needed to manage the condition. One thing that I find uh, beneficial is to learn how the individual can best use sound therapy given the resources they have. Is it going to be through a smartphone? Is it going to be through hearing aids? Ear level sound generators? Headphones? A speaker? How is it going to work? That's something I love figuring out, so please reach out to us if you need help modifying your sound therapy. Thank you so much. This is Dr. Thompson signing off.